What's your daily like routine to like warm up your voice? Do you have any vocal tips? Can you <laughs> smoke a smoke a smoke a Marlboro and get up there. <laughs> <Smoke a Marlboro. laughs> Um, I probably sell about, I would say I probably sell about 15, maybe a thousand, probably a thousand cars. I work five sales a week and so they will average, you know, 200-ish, so probably a thousand cars. Mannheim Dallas is one of, it actually is the largest um, wholesale auto auction in the United States currently. Um, we actually just passed uh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is the main the main auction that where it started all and uh, but we actually just passed them with the team here. They've put together an amazing auction. We've got 36 lanes I think here at Dallas, uh, Dallas Mannheim um, and John makes up five to six of those depending on how many vehicles we have. I've been here at Mannheim Dallas for 20 years now I guess and so I've seen John have kind of evolved through all of all the things, you know, he used to be a, a wholesaler on one of the lanes down down that way into the building and he might run 50 or 50 cars or so, you know, and then to see this morph and see his his business model, you know, make it what Gimme the Van is right now is just phenomenal. It's really been something to watch and see it grow. My name is John Jacob Offerly the Seventh, uh, AKA Big Jake. Um, my father was the sixth um, and I'm the seventh and I decided not to procreate. I'm the mechanical manager. Um, we take the vehicles, uh, 12 to 1500 vehicles a week that come through. We mechanically inspect about 20% of them. The reason we do that is because we want a good product getting to our customers that purchase through the auction lanes. We don't want them to have any major mechanical issues. So we look for things like engine noise, bad transmissions, major fluid leaks, things like that. Um, once we've determined that there is an issue, um, the buyer is given the opportunity to fix it or sell it with an announcement. Mannheim, I believe, is owned by Cox Automotive. Um, they own a lot of auctions nationwide. I believe they're one of the, the if not the biggest auction uh, um, in, in the United States. They have them in many cities. Um, Mannheim um, is our place to do business when we sell our cars. So every car that we process sells through Mannheim um, on sale day, which is Wednesday. Um, so Mannheim uh, does a really good job of being able to process hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars. I don't know how many cars they have on their property here, but I think it's around 50,000. So they have the staff, the equipment, the people, the knowledge to help us achieve what we want to achieve, which is to uh, flip our cars every Wednesday um, to good customers and get them a good product and make sure everything goes smooth. John, how would I describe John? <laughs> John is a very caring, nice man. Uh, he's very intense and he is very passionate about this industry. I feel fortunate to work for him and be a part of his team in that regard because he is the biggest wholesaler in the country and um, being able to work in on his team and uh, sell his high lines. I work lane 20 for him here at Mannheim Dallas um, and being able to sell the high lines and the exotics is really something that it's interesting every week something new. Okay, okay. So if you ask me what he's doing up there, I will take my phone out and I will tell you that he spends his entire time on the block bitching at me for my mistakes. That's what I think he does. Now what he does in reality is he's watching multiple screens in multiple lanes most of the time to represent his cars, listen to his other block clerks, make sure everything's flowing, make sure no mistakes are made, make sure every single car that can get sold gets sold, and every single car um, uh, gets sold. So that's his main focus up there. Sometimes he takes over an entire lane himself. So he reps the lane himself. So it just depends on how the flow's going, who's on vacation, who's not. But he's up there in the octagon to, to, to command the show and to make sure uh, that his name brand and the product that he has uh, gets sold and gets out to the right customers and brings the most money. Okay, so the way that the uh, the lanes works over the well, the auction process works here is we have simulcast bidding as well as live bidding on the floor, and everything is in real time, of course. But I may have 20 people on the floor in front of me, but I may have 450 people online with me. Um, so and it's all in real time. Um, I have my rep is Chad Cunningham out of Nashville, and he's actually piped into our speakers. So he is talking while the car is selling. He gives the color on the car, um, especially with these exotics. You know, there's so much about them that you know, points that I have no idea about it that Chad can interject and, and really help sell the vehicle better, the, you know, which is just a teamwork type of thing for us both to be able to be. Uh, he talks about it and of course me selling it. 
Um, but then start the bidding process and then everybody online that's interested, they can click in and that's in real time with what's going on on the floor. So. Um, so Gimme the Bin, I think the, the beauty of Gimme the Bin is that all the dealers each week, they know that we're selling cars. Um, a lot of the other lanes here, they're consignment lanes or whatnot. And so you don't really know, but you know, you can spend all the time in the lanes themselves and then you may still be, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars away on a vehicle. But with Gimme the Bin, you know that those vehicles are selling um, each week because to keep that train on the tracks, we just keep that rotation going. All the, and so you know that those vehicles are going to be sold. You're not wasting your time in our lanes. Mannheim has locations as far as Darwin, Australia, all over the United States. As, as far as Gimme the Vin, oh, we've got California, we've got Arkansas, we've got uh, Atlanta, Florida. We've got cars that are repped from those areas, but we sell them here. So those are called postcards. Um, that's where we, we, we don't have time to get everything we buy back here every week. So in order to be able to keep our seven day flip alive, uh, we have to postcard cars. Uh, so they're, you'll actually be buying them here, but the, lo the physical location of the car could be at another one of the Mannheim auctions. Now that the auctions have evolved and COVID helped them uh, make big gains in this, um, you can be more confident to buy a car online now. The auctions are better at doing condition reports that are accurate. They're better at taking pictures. They have several million dollars in picture for taking facilities just at this auction alone. It's more common now to buy online than it is to physically come to an auction and see a car drive through the barn and stop in front of the auction block. Um, that's, um, I believe it's getting phased out. I believe eventually you won't have any of that. Uh, think of the personnel you have to have to drive all those cars through the auction block. Think of the uh, liability of having all those people driving cars all over you know, the lot hectically on sale day. Uh, we, we, we could have a $500,000 car get wrecked by an employee that makes eight dollars an hour. I believe it'll eventually phase itself out and of course GiveMeTheVin.com is a step ahead of that because we've already phased it out. If we were not the first, um, I, I, I believe uh, we were the most aggressive with going 100% virtual. I think that this is just the best industry in the, uh, that you could have, honestly. I think that is, or be in, I guess, or the best job you could have. I love coming to work every day and getting on the block, but it's just a different environment every day. No day is, not, not every day is the same, and the uh, market changes and just the people and all the things, you know, it's, it's just uh, interesting, interesting to be able to work in, a, in an environment that is ever-changing, I guess.